Hey everyone, I'm Noah, creator of Blackthorn Prod, and in this video, I will be showing you how to make 2D water using Photoshop and Unity. By the end of the video, you will have a scene that looks something like this, with water that affects the objects that are thrown into it in a believable way. So first things first, we need to create some water graphic with Photoshop. So I'll take a simple, hard round brush, pick a nice calm blue colour and paint some smooth water surface. Now I would like to have my water move as if disturbed by waves. To create an animation in Photoshop, just head over to Window and choose Timeline. I can now create a new frame animation sequence. Now making an animation in Photoshop is very straightforward. You can basically create new frames by clicking on this little icon and then state how long you would like that frame to last. Now each frame will display certain layers. So for example, on frame 1, I would like my first layer displayed. And on frame 2, I will hide that first layer, create a new layer and make sure it's visible paint a slight shift in the water's surface, and now by hitting play, I can sit back and watch my animation. So I'll just continue this process by making more frames and layers, adding some detail to the water, and end up with this result. To achieve a similar movement in your water's surface, just paint a few ripples, and then copy and paste those same ripples and move them slightly to the right. Continue copying and pasting and moving your surface to the right until the surface once again matches the first frame. Of course, animating in Photoshop and making sprite sheets to be imported into Unity is a whole other topic that I won't get into in this video. But if you would like me to make a video on the subject, let me know in the comment section down below. So I'll quickly make a sprite sheet, export it as a PNG into Unity, use the sprite editor to slice the various pieces, and create an animation by simply changing the sprite every few frames. Alright, with my water nicely animating inside of my Unity project, I'll add a sun, some lights, and these simple paper boats that will serve as demonstration material. We will now get down to the meat of the tutorial. Get these boats floating in a believable way. First of all, I'll add a 2D rigid body to each boat and make sure they are affected by gravity by setting the gravity scale above zero. This way they'll fall down and into the water. I'll also add a 2D box collider with default settings. Now selecting my water sprite, I'll add a 2D box collider to it that I'll set to trigger. I'll then add another component called the buoyancy effector 2D. Now this may sound a little alien, but in fact this is the simple and highly useful component that will get our boats moving about in the water. With the buoyancy effector settings at default, make sure to tick the use by effector box on the collider and hit play. And you should see that our boats indeed fall into the water with a slight bounce. Awesome. Selecting my water, I'll now play around with the various settings. The collider mask basically dictates what objects the water will affect. At default, it's set to everything, but say we wanted our boat to ignore this water, we would simply need to uncheck the default layer, which is the layer all of the boats are currently set to, and you will see that all the boats now just continue falling. Next up, we can tweak the water's density. In short, a low density will have our boats sink more easily, and obviously a higher density will get our boats floating above the surface. Now the surface level is really useful, simply by manually tweaking it you can clearly see the effect it has 
on our objects. It basically acts as a way for Unity to detect where the water surface starts, in other words, where the objects should float or begin sinking. Now say I wanted my boat to start moving left, as if caught up in a current. I could do this by heading over to Flow and tweaking the flow magnitude. A positive value will see our boats moving right, and a negative value will get them moving left. I can also add some variation to this left or right movement by tweaking the flow variation. For a realistic effect, it's great to play around with this a little, so your objects don't zip through the surface in a monotone way. You can also have fun with the angle of your flow, though I don't really use this setting that much. Lastly, you can change the damping of your water. A value of 0 for linear drag means that when the object falls, it will constantly bounce off the surface level. Think of the linear drag as glue. The higher the value in this setting, the more glue will be applied to the surface, resulting in objects that won't bounce much and will move slower through the water's flow. And with that, I'll wrap up the video. I hope you enjoyed it and feel inspired to use this awesome Unity feature in your own games. As usual, all support by hitting the like and subscribe buttons is so appreciated. You can also join the Blackthorn Pro Discord server, a cool place to chat about games and creation. Alright, thanks so much for watching. See you very soon for a lot more game creation content. Cheers!